ऑब्वियसली वॉर वगैरह जो भी है कंफ्लिक्ट कंट्रीज के बीच में जो भी डिफरेंसेस इख्तलाफ है वो सब चीज ना आए उसके लिए पीसफुल मेजर्स और पॉलिसीज हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू पाठशाला क्लासेस This is Rashwad Dubey, one of the faculty members of Parshala classes, and today we are going to discuss the 149th Inter-Parliamentary Union. So let's begin. Mr. Om Birla has addressed this particular meet, wherein the following things have been held. अब इससे क्वेश्चन आपके करंट अफेयर्स में आ सकते हैं डेफिनेटली कब हुआ है किसने किया है कौन था वहां प्रेजेंट और क्या क्या चीजें डिस्कस करी गई हैं तो ये हम सारे स्लाइड्स में भी देखेंगे स्टार्टिंग विद दिस लोकसभा स्पीकर मिस्टर ओम बिरला हैज रिसेंटली एड्रेस द 149th नाइन्थ असेंबली ऑफ द इंटर पार्लियामेंट्री यूनियन विच वॉज हेल्ड फ्रॉम ऑक्टोबर ट्वेंटी टू ऑक्टोबर सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी कहा है इसका हेडक्वार्टर हेडक्वार्टर है जेनेवा में जेनेवा कहा है स्विट्जरलैंड ड्यूरिंग हिज एड्रेस मिस्टर बिरला एम्फेसाइज द क्रिटिकल नीड फॉर मल्टीलैटरलिज्म इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो दैट ही एडवोकेटेड फॉर डायलॉग एंड कोऑपरेशन अमंग पार्लियामेंट इन द रियम्स ऑफ साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन फॉर द कॉमन गुड एंड कॉमन वेलफेयर Let's get into detail about this particular union. The 149th Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union is a global organization that brings together national parliaments from around the world. The 149th Assembly serves as an annual meeting where all members of the IPU and its various committees, such as देखिए कमेटी का नाम सारे देख लीजिए करके अब मैं हाईलाइट करते जा रहा हूं पहला फोरम ऑफ विमेन पार्लियामेंटेरियंस एंड द फोरम ऑफ यंग एमपीज कन्वीन टू डिस्कस प्रेसिंग ग्लोबल इश्यूज दिस असेंबली आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स अ वाइटल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर डेलीगेट्स टू डेलीबरेट ऑन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एक्सचेंज व्यूज एंड गैलवेनाइज पार्लियामेंट्री एक्शन इस बार का 149th फोर्टी का क्या थीम था जिसपे ये प्रॉपर पूरा असेंबली हुआ है तो हम देखेंगे इसका मोटिव एम और गोल ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या था द थीम फॉर दिस ईयर असेंबली वॉज हार्नेसिंग साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन फॉर अ मोर पीसफुल एंड सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर पीसफुल पीस की बात करी जा रही है ऑब्वियसली वॉर वगैरह जो भी है कंफ्लिक्ट कंट्रीज के बीच में जो भी डिफरेंसेस इख्तलाफ है वो सब चीज ना आए उसके लिए पीसफुल मेजर्स और पॉलिसीज ड्राफ्ट करने की बात भी करी गई है ऑल्सो दैट जो भी चीजें अडॉप्ट करी जाएंगी वो सस्टेनेबल मेजर्स से अक, जो भी अलाइन करेगी ठीक है कंप्लाई करने चाहिए ये सब पॉलिसीज डिस्कस करी गई है ये मीटिंग में खास तौर तक क्या क्या इनका गोल रहा है फोकसिंग ऑन Harnessing science, technology and innovation. The Indian delegation, ये हमारे काम का चीज है ये current affairs से definitely पूछा जा सकता है तो इस पर focus करिएगा The Indian delegation of the assembly was led by Mr. Om Birla and also included Rajya Sabha deputy chairman Mr. Harivansh Singh the and also the secretary general of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. as well as there were various other mps present in the assembly their participation underscores india's commitment to engaging with international partners and addressing global issues collaboratively the jamaica has also participated it also joined this time the ipu meet and let's see what Importance does this particular participation and emancipation of Jamaica will have, right, in the international arena? 
a significant highlight of the 149th IPO assembly was Jamaica's rejoining as the 181st member. Question पूछे जा सकते हैं आपसे कौन सा भी latest member है और member है भी तो कौन से number पे वो rank करेगा तो 181st member है वो of the parliament. The Jamaica had previously been a member of the IPO from 1983 to 1996 and this return reaffirms that Jamaica's commitment to international cooperation and engagements in parliamentary affairs. Also that the IQ currently comprises of total देखिए ये आपके GK के लिए important है 181 national member parliament and 15 regional parliamentary bodies enhancing its global representation across the world. About the inter-parliamentary inter union. The inter-parliamentary union was initially established as the Inter-Parliamentary Conference on June 30, 1889 in Kaha convened ki gai thi? Paris, France mein. It was renamed to its current title in renaming kab hui hai? 1899 mein. The main aim of the IPU has been to bring together parliamentarians from across the globe and promote arbitration and discuss other policies of national and international importance. Also that this establishment of the IP IPO is credited to Mr. Frederick Passe. He is very important hai, ye founder. Hai. So, please, don't forget this name. Because he is also the first Nobel Peace Prize winner from the country of France. And along with him, Mr. William Randall Creamer, who is an Englishman, has been the founders of this particular IPU. As the world's first permanent international political organization, the IPU has evolved to empower parliaments and parliamentarians in order to promote peace, democracy, human rights, and sustainable development at an international level. Lastly, the headquarters of the inter Parliamentary Union is located in Geneva, Switzerland. It has been discussed at the very onset of this particular video where it continues to operate as a crucial platform for, for promoting dialogue and collaboration among nations. So, IP is a current affairs so GK is a very essential part of it. Since recently, India has been a delegation as a delegate. Gaya hai. Or Mr. Om Birla has uh, represented India. As a representative, he has gone and has joined this particular summit. Therefore, it is of grave importance when it comes to your current affairs section. Jo jo highlight please follow the lecture. I have highlighted everything. 181st hai, kahan pe headquarter and every details, every minute details to significant details that I have highlighted are confirmed questions for your current affairs. So, please do focus on those points that have been highlighted in the lecture. Right? So, that's all for today. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel of Artshala Classes. Also, for getting your Experience doubt redressal and for getting access to your study materials. You can subscribe to the telegram channel of Partshala classes as well. Thank you so much for connecting with us.